This right here is a diagrammatic representation of the question. We have a lawn mower. I don't know if that's the correct spelling of the word mower. Okay. This is a lawn mower. This is right here another lawn mower. We can we can push it or we can pull it. I mean somebody is here standing pushing the lawn mower and here somebody is right here pulling it. Now if you read the question the question says that why is it easier to pull the lawn mower than to push it? In other words, it's easier to pull it than to push it and the question is why. Now for us to be able to explain why we need to ask ourselves what makes it even hard to push this thing in the first place? The issue here is that we're trying to push this thing, this lawn mower, but as we are pushing it in motion or as we are pulling it in motion, there is a certain force that is resisting that motion and that force is friction. So the question is, or the issue here is that the friction is what is trying to oppose the motion. And because friction is what opposes motion, it is that fric same frictional force that is going to determine whether it is going to be easier or harder for us to push this lawn mower. So now, if it is easier to just pull this lawn mower than to push it, it simply means that the frictional force here is less and the frictional force here is more. So now ours is simple. We need to explain how the frictional force here is more than here so that we justify why it is easier to pull this lawn mower than to push it. So let's get into analyzing the forces behind these lawn mowers as they are. We're, I'm going to read to, to draw sketches, force diagrams to when when the force when we are pushing and when we are pulling it. Let's begin with when the lawn mower is being pushed. Like I had earlier said, if this lawn mower is to be pushed or pulled, the one thing that is going to make it very complicated, or it's that, that is going to the factor that is making it hard or easy to push this lawn mower is the fact that there is a force that is opposing the motion of this lawn mower and the force that is opposing the motion of that lawn mower is the frictional force now what is the frictional force given by we know that frictional force let's call it small f is given by mu times r now this mu represents the uh, coefficient of friction and this r is the normal reaction. Now if you look at this expression that frictional force which is capital a, small f frictional force is given by mu times r you realize that this mu is constant but this normal reaction is going to vary depending on the forces that are acting on the lawn mower. What I'm trying to say here is that if we are to remove these equal signs here the frictional force is directly proportional to the normal reaction. And for us to remove this proportionality sign, we get to have this mu, the constant of proportionality that we call the coefficient of friction. So what I'm trying to say is that this frictional force is directly proportional to the normal reaction. If the frictional force is small, it means that the normal reaction is small. If the frictional force is high, it means the normal reaction is also high. So for this lawn mower, we are going to examine the normal reaction that is acting on that lawn mower. And that is going to give us an explanation as to whether it is as to why it is harder to push it and why it is easier to pull this lawn mower. So we'll begin analyzing the forces that are acting on the lawn mower when we are pushing it. So when we are pushing this lawn mower, this, this is going to be my first diagram. That dot right there is going to represent the lawn mower, right there. So we are having this force that is acting. This is the force that is pushing this lawn mower. Uh, let me call it force P. The force P is pushing this lawn mower, and it is. Remember, there is another force acting on this lawn mower, which so happens to be its weight. That is mass times gravity. Its weight is acting downwards like that. So definitely, the ax we have the horizontal axis. And we have the vertical axis right there. So now this force P acting on this lawn mower, we want to resolve the forces. Remember this is a particle from Newton's third law of motion. This particle is experiencing a normal reaction. We are calling R, capital R, a normal reaction like that. So to resolve forces along the vertical, remember this force, we treat it as though it is moving through up to there. 
we, we resolve forces, we deal with forces that are going away from the, from the particle. This is a force coming in through, so that's how we treat it, as though it's going out of this particle, so that is force P. Uh, this force is at an angle theta to the horizontal, so this angle theta is the same as that angle right there, theta to the horizontal. So now to resolve forces um, along the vertical, it's going to mean the upward forces, which is in this case the upward forces there we are having R, is going to be equal to the downward forces. The downward forces we have Mg, then we have plus uh, this force P sine of theta, P sine theta, right there. So we have, this is our normal reaction acting on this lawnmower. When we are pushing it, uh, the normal reaction is um, mg plus p sine theta. So it means that our frictional force is, we have our frictional force here, which we shall call f. Our frictional force will be given by the coefficient of friction mu times r. And our value of r is that. So it means that it's going to be mu times our value of r which happens to be mg, mg plus p sine of theta. That is our frictional force right there. Now, this is our frictional force when this lawnmower is being pushed. Now, we are going to analyze the forces that act on that lawnmower when it is being pulled. So, our force diagram will look different. So, as our lawnmower is being pulled, this particle, this dot is going to represent the lawnmower. Now the lawnmower is having this force acting on it in the direction. Then it is also having the weight acting downwards, that is mg. Right there. Let's call this force also force P, right there, acting in that direction. And of course uh, we are having our horizontal axis. Then we have our vertical axis, like that. And definitely, we are, if you look at this particle, it is having a normal reaction from Newton's third law, action and reaction and equal and opposite, so it's having a normal reaction acting in the opposite direction. This particle is definitely seated on, on a surface. So now to resolve forces along the vertical, we are having upward forces being equal to the downward forces. The up so the upward forces here are two. Forces acting upwards are R plus... Uh, this force P, which we, resolving it along the vertical is going to become P times the sine of R of theta is going to give us the downward forces and the only downward force we have here is Mg. So when we make the normal reaction R the subject of the formula, you shall find that our value of R is going to become Mg minus P sine of theta. So if this is a normal reaction R, it means that our frictional force in this case is going to become frictional force is given by the coefficient of friction which we shall call mu times the normal reaction R. Our frictional force will be mu times R which is going to be mg minus P sine of theta. So it means that it's going to become F mg minus p sine theta. So we, I, I want us to take note of these two different um, expressions for friction. When we are pulling the lawnmower, this is our expression for friction. When we are pushing the lawnmower, this is our expression for friction. Now, if you look at these two closely, you realize that when we are pushing it down here, you realize that uh, uh, the value of r is mg plus sine theta so it means that the magnitude of the normal reaction here is bigger than here because here the magnitude of the normal reaction is simply mg minus p sine theta so with here the the weight which is mg on top of when we, when you look at the weight of the lawnmower we are going to subtract a certain component of the force when you look at the weight of the lawnmower here mass times gravity we are going to add a component of a force, p sine theta. Now when we were beginning this, we said that frictional force is directly proportional to the normal reaction. It means that the bigger the normal reaction, 
the bigger the frictional force. The smaller the normal reaction, the smaller the frictional force. And from our analysis here, you're able to see that when it comes to this, uh, from these two analyses, you did discover that the normal reaction here, when we are pulling the thing, is smaller than the normal reaction when we are pushing the lawnmower. When we are pulling the lawnmower, in this case, the normal reaction here is low, is less. And because the normal reaction is less, it means the frictional force will be less, and so it will be easier to pull than this. Here it will be, you will require more effort to push this thing. Why? Because the normal reaction is being increased by a component of force, P sine theta, and as a result, it makes the frictional force more. And because the frictional force is more, it means it's going to require more force to pull, to push that thing. So again, if we are, after drawing these two diagrams, it's still, if we were to answer this question, this is how we would say it. Why is it therefore easier to pull a loan more than to push it? Well, the applied force P, as one pushes his, has a downward component P sine theta, which increases the weight of the loan more. This is the weight I'm talking about. It increases the weight of the lone more weight as one pushes it. And from Newton's third law, this increases the normal reaction, like we have seen here. This frictional force is directly proportional to the normal reaction. Frictional force increases, and because frictional force increases, it makes the pushing of this lone mower difficult. However, when it comes to pulling this lone mower, in pulling this lawn mower, the vertical component P, the, that is the vertical component of the applied force P, faces upwards. And because it faces upwards, when you resolve these forces along the vertical, you realize that this P sine theta reduces the weight of the lawn mower. When this component of the force, the vertical component, since it's acting upwards, it's going to reduce the weight of this lawn mower. And because it's reducing the weight, like you're seeing here, mg minus P sine theta, this reduction in weight is definitely going to make the normal reaction also to reduce. And since the normal reaction reduces, the frictional forces will also reduce since the normal reaction is directly proportional to the frictional forces. And therefore, that is what makes it easier to pull this load more than to push it. So what is this normal reaction uh, equivalent to? Uh, so it means banang. The small f banang. The weaver buds. What's wrong with the weaver buds? Oh, okay. Like oh banang. These buds. Okay, like I had earlier said. Um, like I had earlier said. Uh, what? 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 Oh. Uh, my viewers, you know we're in Africa and um, we are gifted by nature, so we, we hear birds in the background, just, it's normal here, man. Hear all kinds of animals making noise in the background. That's my surrounding, it's my neighborhood, so welcome to Africa. Woo! All right then, let's continue. We are doing with the lawnmower. So this is the particle, the lawnmower. All these dogs. Will you shut up? Okay, we continue. So, in pulling this vertical component, um, the applied force P. What's wrong with these dogs, man? Come on. Who is disturbing these dogs? This lawn mower, the vertical component of this applied force P. End of business. Now the pigs have started. Oh my god, what's wrong with this morning? Is it too cold? Birds then from birds to pigs, then now pigs, now dogs. I need to soundproof this room. God, help me. This brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out other excellent videos on the channel and don't forget to subscribe. 
for Kisembo Academy. This is Anwar Brangakuramia helping you manifest excellence.